Jeff Morrow was not just an average kid, which he was, but he was also a cut above. He was a good kid. He, he was an Eagle Scout. He had lots of friends. They liked to go outside. They liked to take pictures. They liked to be with each other. They weren't flashing each other gang signs or smoking joints on the side or wrecking their cars with a case of beer in the back. They were just good kids. Like a lot of good kids in the Orlando area, they grew up in a little bit of a bubble. They went to school with other good kids. Whatever they learned about black people, they probably learned that it was all about white racism, keeping the fellas down. And since those good kids didn't have any hate in their heart for anybody, they kind of thought everything was reciprocal, as we say around here. It's because you're down with the cause. That does not mean the cause is down with you. His friends still miss him. This happened two years ago. I just got an email from one of his friends going, Colin, I know you must get these all the time. But this kid was in our scout troop, and we still miss him every day. That's because when he left his bubble, even, however, temporarily, to try to sell a used iPhone to a couple of the fellas, this is what happened. They have arrested a man in the death of this man, Jeff Morrow Jr. Morrow was shot after he accompanied a friend at a public place to make an online sale on Sunday. Well, today, Sheriff Judd says that they arrested Victor Manns Jr. They say that he set up the fake transaction on let go in order to rob the victim. When you commit this kind of horrific crime on somebody, you're not just killing them. You're killing a whole network of people that he was in the middle of. You're killing his family. You're killing his friends. You're killing them a whole bunch or a little bit. You're killing a chunk of them. Please, sir, I want some more that will stay dead for the rest of their lives. They never know what hit them. They never knew it was all about not making the black kids angry.